What's up guys, Kevin Bruin, the fit rocket scientist here. So, you wanna live on Mars. I definitely don't wanna live on Mars. Mars is a really harsh and cold place. So it's kinda like this, a little harsh, but we're out in Joshua Tree Desert, so I am sweating here in pants right now, but on Mars, it's super cold. Let's say you wanna like uh, live on Mars, the best place to live would be near the equator, right? So uh, during the daytime at noon, it's gonna be about 70 degrees Fahrenheit, but at night, it drops all the way down to negative 100 degrees. That's freaking cold. All right, so when you're on Mars, you need to be in your habitat. Otherwise, you need to wear a space suit at all times. So I would be dead. So you need a habitat on Mars. You gotta live in this thing. So we got the tent, nice Coleman tent out here. You need to bring all your own oxygen with you, all your own food and water, because around here, you really can't do anything. Um, you see little shrubs here? That's not on Mars. It's just great, vast, nothingness landscape. So you're like, oh, but Kevin, there's like ice on the poles, right? You are correct but it's carbon dioxide ice, so it's not water ice. And plus at the poles, it's really cold and it's only there during the winter where it actually gets down to like negative 195 degrees Fahrenheit. It's way too cold and if you want that ice, you have to transport it all the way to the equator. So Mars is smaller than Earth, but it's not that close. So you're still going from the North Pole all the way down to the equator. Way too long and way too far to transport that type of technology and materials down to use it. But there is water vapor in the air. So in the upper atmosphere, you could harness some of that water vapor, bring it down, and now you got water vapor. And what you could do is you could take some of that carbon from the carbon dioxide ice from the poles and you know make your own carbonated sparkling water. So you could have a little bit of a treat on Mars. But you really have to bring your own food. So you have to have a biodome, you have to grow it, create a little bit of a, a farm inside. Like in the Martian, you need to use like your poop to fertilize it possibly, who knows? Um, there's a lot of other things at Mars that you just don't want to live there. So space radiation. There is a hundred times thinner atmosphere on Mars. Here on Earth we have our solar, we have our magnetic field protecting us from the solar radi radiation coming in. So we don't have to be mole people. On Mars you might have to dig down into the regolith and actually live underneath it. So the regolith is Mars dirt that protects you from the solar radiation coming in. So there's also, since you're so far away, there's less light. The sky would not be blue like we appear here. The days are 40 minutes longer. The seasons are much longer. You have like a seven month winter, or seven month spring, six month winter. It's just not as entertaining. So it would be a lot colder during those times as well. And if you don't have everything you want with you, you could 3D print your own tools. So what that means is you're gonna have to bring a 3D printer. You would need to use some metal to bring along with you or possibly use the regolith and figure out a way to adhere the regolith together to build your tools. But we could do resupply missions, but the resupply missions would be only about every 26 months. That's when the window of opportunity opens up for the closest approach and less energy to go from Earth to Mars. So every 26 months. And then if you want internet, so if you want to be able to view these YouTube videos in real time, you have between a three to 22 minute delay, depending on where Earth and Mars are, if they're in opposition or conjunction, you gotta wait a little bit to get your news feed updates. So on Mars, I would not wanna live there. These are all the things like people are like, oh, let's go to Mars. It'd be great to be a pioneer, be an explorer, being able to see everything for the first time with human eyes, set your foot down on a place that has never been set down on before, but it requires a whole lot of crap that I definitely don't want to deal with. And yeah, it's just not an enjoyable experience. <laughs>